places, everyone. It's time for the big show. The show called uh, Bonobo Juice Time Lapse Proof That He Drew This Thing. Because uh, sometimes, I don't know, it's not to brag, sometimes people don't think that, you know, that uh, something is drawn. They think it's put through a filter. Um, and I can't help it. It almost feels like a new introduction every time I do one of these. And it also feels like I'm in purgatory because I've tried to do this for, I don't know, an hour, about an hour or so. So we're going to get right into the time lapse. We're going to get right into the meat. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let it roll and we're going to talk about what I'm doing here. What are we doing here? The very beginning, if you might, might want to check back, let's, let's jump back 12 seconds. Cause I want to explain this right here. All right. This was about 90 seconds of dicking around. How's that? Um, I don't want this to be representative of anything except for fun and goofs. That's it. All right. <laughs> anyway, remember what it ended up looking like. It's not that. This looks like, um, God damn, who's that guy who was into like choking? All right. Um, never mind. We're not going to get into that because what if this is monetized one day? <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is funny stuff. All right, so uh, the man you are looking at is uh, Mudahar Anas. Some Ordinary Gamers is the channel. Way, uh, what do you call it? Way smarter. All right, just I've been trying to think, like, what's a little checklist that I can keep mentally that I want to point out? It's that um, this guy is way smarter than any of us, and we need to understand that. There's some people, and I know there's tons of people, all right? I know there's people who know more than everybody. I know there's people who know more than Stephen Hawking, all right? But when you start talking about, like, kernel-level uh, functionality of computers, you're talking about, like, people in my day-to-day -day might say to me, depending on who or what age group they're in or whatever, they might say... Wow, Scott's a real computer nerd. He knows so much about it. He's so smart. Not really. I'm not... We're talking about, like, the functionality level of things. Like, the language of computers. This is someone who... This is... You gotta nod in the right direction. Uh, this is someone who knows about that. And uh, it's fascinating to hear the man talk about uh, securities. And, um, you know, uh, when somebody really knows, like, there's... Uh, I guess I grew up around a lot of bullshitters when it comes to um, computers and stuff. Like, I remember in 1990-something, there was a friend of mine who knew... this. He's a YouTuber, by the way. I haven't said anything about the man, all right? He's a YouTuber. Um, I started watching him for his, uh, his deep web videos. He has a series of 200 videos, over 200 videos, where he explores the deep web and demystifies it and just basically takes away that boogeyman, you know, where you think that um, Hitman guys exist and if there's any crawlers or whatever hitman 3 on pc now you know what i mean like i'm talking about a video game here i'm not talking about um things that would uh you know damper the reach of this video this this amazing video that has to get out okay so what was i talking about hitmans and stuff like that dark deep web stuff it's like come for the deep web stuff stay for the mudahar i was on a good one there, I had, didn't have to pause or anything for a long time. And my pause button was broken, so that was cool. So that was me just recorded sitting there like this for a long time, just sitting here going, mm, collecting my thoughts. This is my collecting my thoughts button. I'm going to see how it works. It's back, and it's so good. And you know, all I did was take a drink of my drink, and I didn't really think about much. Um, I get a lot of, like, squirrely ideas in my head while I draw. Not while I'm drawing, like, here, but when I'm getting everything prepped and I know I'm going to do this time-lapse video, um, I, I time I think of, like, time-life books. Time-lapse books. Uh, anyway, that's what I do. I just, I completely derail myself all the time. Um, <laughs> so you can see here, my little, little me over there is hard at work. Like, it's almost like I need, like, a, it's like a dog that you order to do stuff then it can focus and do things otherwise it's going to piss on the carpet uh shit on the rug um you know it's going to cause havoc it's going to chew up your carpet um and that's me but anyway afterwards i always think of all these points that i want to hit i'm like man if i was if i was recording right now a commentary i'd be killing it right now i'd be talking about this i'd be talking about that uh meanwhile when it's go time i'm wearing like the I don't know if I said this already, but, like, I'm wearing, like, a nuclear blast flash white shirt. Like, like this is the last thing you see when the enemy drops the, um, 
you know, the one that carve they carve like I heart Betty or something into the side of it. And then it's like <laughs> Anyway, so um yeah, I was gonna talk about like all kinds of crap. Um I don't even know what to say right now. I just fucked up like really hard. Holy shit. So yeah, like I don't know. Problems that I had with this not a lot. I don't know. I I I when you have it directly in comparison to the uh, reference photo, like, then I have problems. I start picking it apart. But for the most part, like, well, I start picking it apart because I'm directly comparing it to a photograph. And then I start looking at the drawing and that and that. And then I go, because uh, that's what I did. I actually, like, I finished the picture. I was super excited. And the first thing I do is I take it, like, I, I um, zoom them, like, to scale with each other side by side. And then I stare at it. And then I do, a, like, a hyper critique uh, you know, that really like shit on yourself way. And, <laughs> and I was looking at it and I go, you could have done this different. You could have done that different. But then what I did was, so I, I, I just got up and I walked away and then I wasn't feeling very good about it. And then I came back later and I only looked at the picture and I go, that's, that's him. You did it. Good job. That's the guy. That's what you wanted to make too. And so now I'm excited about it again. I like it again. Um, I got to draw G fuel cans. That was fun. Uh, it was, uh, like, I just kind of, like, just, you know, threw crap at the wall with that one, and, uh, I figured all I needed to do was make the logos, I had to do the logo four times, and I'm like, just make them, like, use your little caliper thingies here that I use, my little dividers, make sure that the, the, the height of them is the same, and then the rest I just freehand and it turned out all right. There was like a, you know, enough uniform to the thing. Um, I didn't know how deep I was going to go, but then I started drawing the microphone and the, uh, the, the pop stopper thing. And um, I recognized the, the shock mount well enough that I, I was sketching it, but I'm like, you don't have to go super detail with that. I didn't have to do what I usually do, which would, would, would be to try to find exactly what microphone that is and stuff. I'm like, just, you know, what you see is what you get. And then, um, uh, yeah, what was it? I took a couple things out of the background. Why? Um, I don't know. I just thought it looked better for this particular portrait just to have the kind of wash of the wall or whatever. Um, <laughs> what am I, I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm just, oh, just little fine tweaks. I just had the, the menu come up because I couldn't remember what I had for, um, you know, like, control Z for undo, but I can't remember what I did custom for uh, redo, because I was going, like, I'd, I'd say, did that look better before? Bep, 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 bep. And I say, no, I want to hit redo and keep going with whatever I was tweaking. Um, yeah, it was fun to draw these G, G Fuel things. I didn't know, I was just, like, flying by the seat of my pants, because obviously there's a lot of detail, but the beauty of it is that they're just in the background, so if you do just enough that they're uh, recognizable, then it's all good, and that's what I did. Um, I do know that that's the umbrella, some kind of, I don't know, Resident Evil tie-in. I went, when I got two down, I realized it was another one of those. I don't even know what flavor that is. I actually really like G Fuel. I, uh, <laughs> a friend of mine, I went back, I took an interstate trip back to where I'm from in the uh, summertime, and me and my wife got hooked on it because a friend of mine tuned me into uh, G Fuel, and we both liked it. And um, it was like, like it lifted me up without um jitteriness and then there was like seemingly no crash like amazingly um and then what was my point uh came back and we've been fiends for it since um so i did enjoy doing little g fuel uh sketches as well plus it's part of you know it's the g fuel tower um <laughs> the the uh what do you call it there's 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 uh what is that called fanfic slash slash fic or whatever about the him in the G Fuel Tower. And then it made him knock it over in a go as a goof. And uh anyway, um yeah that's the end of the video. Thank God. <laughs> and then uh so we're gonna end this now so that I don't have to think anymore. I can turn these lights off and I can relax and uh I can put this up on the internet and let everybody see what I s what I did. So yes, good for me. Uh, hooray for me. <laughs> uh, if you did enjoy this video and you made it this far, you don't know how much you were appreciated because holy shit, did I have a hard time getting through this one simply because my brain is fried today. It's just not working. 
Uh, so please consider commenting, subscribing, and liking the video <laughs> to help, uh, you know, grow the channel. Uh, you know, this guy needs to do this for a living. <laughs>